This to the occasion. Spades versus Ents, map one. Nuke, let's get into it. Wow, that was great, yeah. Uh, FaZe taking on Ents. I can't wait to get into this one. I've got Chaddy B, who is a Master Baker, alongside me. FaZe with a CT side star. Obviously, Ents is map pick. And I think FaZe, you know, all, all things considered, everyone's looking at them to win this series, right? All the pressure's kind of on FaZe. They looked really good back at Katowice, winning the whole event with stand. It's with three different rosters. So uh, now with the full five online, you're hoping they can hit the ground running and rain will. That's a nice start right there. See you later, Hades. One expect odds favoring phase. Here is, well, Ents get down towards the lower side. See Snappy trying to deal with this squeaky rotation. Door opening up the vent they go. Hello, Twists. It's a bit of an around the world. Twists heads on a swivel. He's dealt with two out the hut. And it's only Sphinx left standing. Man, the response from phase there, thing of beauty. They spot out that little vent rotate and they deal with it very concisely. Yeah, unorthodox way to go to the top site fast. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, they got the avenue of attack they were looking for there. But FaZe Clan, they kick it off in that 1-0 fashion with nobody going down. And this is great. You know, you know, Harry, you know how good it is when you're playing little matchmakings and you don't take any damage and you get the free upgrade in the armor. And then you get yourself an M4. Mm. And things feel good. Yeah, I mean, all's right in the world, right, when that happens. Like, that, that's a dream pistol, as far as I'm concerned. I love it. I'm pretty sure I had some Finns do that against me on Nuke just the other day. The infamous secret to vent to the A site. Are they just going to try and pop out again, or is the goal to get down vents? It looks like an A pop, and well, you know, the A1Ss, they're going to win this one out pretty comfortably. They chase down the guys, the stragglers, last into the site, and FaZe are going to go 2-0 up. Yeah, uh, very flaccid start to things. Zero kills in two rounds. Uh, no penetration whatsoever here into Ooh. the FaZe defense. Uh, that is is a dream. Like, we were talking about the pistol is a dream start. Well, going clean against a force by events. Yeah, that's, that's even better. This is not the way you want to be kicking things off here for, well, let's say the international squad on the other side of the server. Yeah, yeah, you guys can work it out. You guys can piece it together. You know who I'm talking about here. But uh, yeah, just going to be a couple of digs, no armor, P250 for D-Harp. And a heat-seeking grenade right there, right onto the heads of Madden. Now, we could probably have a bit of a discussion about Madden using what the desk was saying, because this should be an eco bash. Rain's going to mop a couple up. And they were talking about how, uh, you know, Madden's not being used as actively as what he was in FBX, right? And he was clearly the spearhead of that team and in terms of finding openings and taking room. But uh, the difference maker here is there's a lot more players of that elk in Ents. And he's replacing Dota. So the question for me was always, well, stylistically, how do they make this work? Do they just add another Bash brother to the pack of running in and mauling? Or do they try and change someone's playstyle? And so far, it's been Madden who hasn't been, as Maui was saying, he's been in the demos, not been up to his usual tricks. So he's currently the second lowest rated player for this iteration of Ents. And uh, well, that needs to change if this team wants to get the most out of him. Because it's a pickup. You know he's a good player. But you get the best out of him when he's playing his style of Counter-Strike. But finally, a kill. One for D-Heart. Let's see if they can make that many more into the gunnies. No AWP for Hades here. Just going to beat five AK-47s. Yeah, they've lobbed the outside smokes right away. And they're going to try and send D-Heart across behind them. I, it looked like there was a pretty big gap here. Uh, he's fine. He's fine. He's made it over. There was like a tiny little hole in the middle. Uh, luckily enough, no AWP in hand for FaZe, so D is going to make it on by. They get him into secret, but the rest of the gang are all back here in lobby. So what do they want to do with D here? Uh, top's pretty susceptible here, right? You can see Hades lining up that molly towards back of sight. Here comes the U2 up close and personal CT fan. Oh, Carrigan's in trouble. Twist has got one. Is that it? It looks like they've just stalled this out with a smoke molly defense of their own here. This is uh, not a good start, Harry. Yeah, it's a little rough, but hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. Yeah. Have a little faith. Deha with the main wrap, and he comes out of secret. He goes, all right, look, I'm not in, a, a, in, a, in an ideal position to help out over at A. He, he makes that little run across, that sprint over from secret in the yard, and uh, he's good for the double entry. It looked like FaZe were about to grind that one to a pretty jarring halt, right? They split the push really well. They forced that first fight out of Sphinx and no one could trade it. So uh, yeah, Ents kind of owe everything to Diha there for, for running in and making that happen. That really should have been a FaZe climb round, I think. It was simple, just playing with that rotation, right? Rain goes down towards lower and then they're able to attack the top side as a unit. So good stuff, simple stuff, and that's gonna be the 3-1 score line. Now, is there anything that Hugo does that you really don't like so I can avoid um, doing it? Yeah, just like talk generally. Oh, okay. Be, All right. Be like the big. No, dude, Hugo is pretty sound. Um, 
I don't really have many critiques. You don't want to air any him. petty grievances? No, no, I don't have many grievances with him. Okay. Maybe he's like a bit, a bit cold and a bit emotionless, but I'm oh, not. You want him to show a bit more heart? Yeah, yeah, exactly. To you or to the game? Um, no, he shows it all to the game. That's okay, the so problem. To you. It's more like a, yeah, yeah, like a work situation. He's married to the job. Fair enough. I get that. It's fine. But, uh, you know, a little bit of us time could go a long way. I you gave know? you a fist bump there. Do you he guys, did. Do you I've guys never had bump? a fist bump from Hugo other than when we're playing Counter Strike. Well, me so. and Alex fist bump before every game. Oh, Maybe that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Because we're all in this together, you know? We are all in it together. That is what they say. I think it was. Um, High School Musical that actually featured that one. You ever watch that, Chad? I'm, uh, I'm a bit Beyond of a boomer, your time, but I do right? know about the status quo. Don't you okay. worry. Don't you worry. <laughs> Kept up with the musicals in the virtual household. But this is much of a muchness here. Dihar across to Secret. Well, this time with an opening pick. Brokey's hit the dirt. And they could just start working their way on the top side play. It's interesting that like, Ents aren't going for a complicated opener like Na'Vi would. They just wait out the protocol utility and now they walk into the top site where this Twist AWP lies. Yeah, curious what Twist is going to give us with this. Not a name that you instantly think of when you see that Molly was interested for Spinks and Twist is going to nail that follow-up shot. This has gotten very ugly very, very quickly. D has once again trying to replicate that hero play from Secret into the A site and he's good for that first, but this time there's a Secret wrap. Rob's a lot faster than Rain was when he dropped lower to get in and deal with that backstab. Going to double up from it. And so there's the response from FaZe Clan. Ents try to do it to him again and, well, this time Carrigan's seen your trick he knows what to respond. Yeah, good, good that they're able to adapt so quickly there, right? They get that AWP back in the hands of Brokey here to see if he can find an opening this time round. And this is how it kicked on off. Brokey trying to make his way down the vent. So Spinks fortunate there on the timing of the spam, but great stuff from Carrigan, who's already starting things off strong. Eight kills for Carrigan. And when he's having one of these games, uh, that's when you know that you're in a rough spot if you're on the other side of the server. But this could be a little bit pacey here. We can see a uh, top hut molly being lift on out. Yard smokes in play again. Uh, playing ahead is Rain. They're going to try and get up in their face, mate. Deha, yeah, oh. He's been very, very uh, good at, you know, making these secret crosses happen and finding impact from them. But now with him removed, you've lost a, a real tip of the spear almost, right? Snappy's at least dealt with this outside aggression. Actually, they have dropped a player down vents as well. So maybe, maybe there's some love found. I was going to say down towards the B side. Madden's actually in A. He's like, guys, it's fine. It's empty. There's nobody here. I've just run in and we've won the round. Could be a save call here. Brokey and Romps looking to hold on to their goodies. And well, they have enough to, in terms of a drop. Romps will be able to drop something next round and get an M4 across. Uh, Brokey should be able to do the same, but that, that's going to be about it. Someone's going to be uh, light. It'll probably be Carrigan. You'll see him go with an SMG or, or something along those lines. But this is it for FaZe, right? The bar has been set very high, and if you at home are like, well, yeah, they're going to perform just as well as they did in Katowice. Let's take a couple of things here. You know, let's take some inventory, Harry. You play with a stand-in. Pressure, a little bit less. You know, a little bit less. You Everybody's here. You're just having a good time. You, you know, if we lose, oh, well, we had a stand-in. If you, if you win, oh, we win, right? So you could see uh, they obviously went for, for the latter of the two options, the win and win option. Um, so they, they, they are going to be aware of that, but there's a bit more pressure on them now, not only for winning the trophy, but then now doing it with a full five and going, yeah, yeah, this roster is the one that we want. See, when we used to have, you know, like arena events a lot and then you would go into like a season of Pro League in the past, I feel like it really wouldn't be uncommon to see a team that was like looking sick in arena events, maybe fall off a little bit when you get back into that like studio environment. You know, it's not like, it's not like, you know, you're playing a best of three to like make it to a grand final to go the distance as a crowd screaming behind you. It is kind of like a very different you know, pace change, I guess, in terms of the emotions. The CS plays differently. Yeah. It, the, the game itself plays differently. I think that in terms of the arenas, we've seen a lot more momentum or faster plays and things can snowball a lot quicker. This is uh, more akin to online, but still on land where you got to make sure you, you can do it at the urinal, not in the stall. But uh, it's clear now that we have three different distinct versions of CS for everybody playing at home. Online, studio, well, and arena. And well, that's a smoke drop from Rain here just to buy a little bit of time. Four players caged behind that, but well, the exact number unknown to FaZe right now. But Brokey's AWP is doing a good job at keeping them bared on down. If they want to poke back up, they will have to get past his big green, but they're just waiting out of the smoke. Patience seems to be the name of the game for Ant early today. Oh. 
did it so nerve-wracking. Rain just about gets in to Decon. Wasn't expecting a quad swing. Oftentimes, it's been just one man down towards Secret behind those smokes. And now Rops needs to be the hero, needs to be the one to pick up the pieces. Ooh, oh, yeah. He will oh. go back for it. Able to give himself a bit of an escape route, but instead elects to go back in. It's left in this three on three. Hades over the top of the site. Smoke is cut down by Carrigan's SMG. And now they learn about Snappy in control room as well. Right now they're asking themselves, where is Sphinx? And I think Ents are even asking the same question. He's late down the vent. They can get on the bomb. There's a kit on Brokey who's sticking it. Sphinx could try to swing. Oh! Yes, and while he does get him off, it's still just enough time for the defuse to come in. Um... Okay, protect the president type bodyguarding stuff right? there. <laughs> yeah, bullets do penetrate all of you boys. That could have been an absolute calamity. Wow, Sphinx almost got offered up a one on three. Timing was the misfortune right there. Good from Madden, see him getting stuck in the pack early. You see this from Hades up and over. This is one of the little maneuvers players have been dropping with that lower smoke. So obviously it was to guise the plant, but you can get up on that little box right there and use it as a one way. So uh, learning today we are. Probably Yoda's here too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Learning we are. Here we are. Out into the A site. Carrigan, one for one. Twist's holding the line still up on these rafters. He's been good, and that's lovely. Admittedly, did only get two out of three of those, but still does his job. Hades left in this 1v4. And these top site rushes, I think Ents are expected to get a lot more out of them than they are right now. Barely making a dent once again on the back of this A play. Yeah, and they're normally one of my favorite things to see from like Snappy's calling, but he tends to get away with them early. And well, it's not early when you're doing it in round number eight. And then he can snowball and then he can condition with it. But uh, here, getting stumped a little bit. So seven to two, the most likely scoreline after this next round of play with some upgraded pistol. But is this just going to be, a, you know, FaZe Clan taking turns on who's going to get the multi-kill? That's what, you know, separates like a star team. Well, they're also a solid roster, don't get me wrong. But if, you know, you can have a team where if they come your way, you just kill two to three, right? That That's going to make life so easy as opposed to going one for one. You're playing out the trade game. You're playing the rotation game. It's just great when Rain and Brokey can, well, probably lock down Yard on their lonesome. You don't have to worry yeah. about too much, do you? I mean, I would love to know your thoughts on this, right, Chad? So, like, Rain has been a staple of the FaZe Clan roster for so long, right? He's literally the architect because he was here since that, like, original iteration. Um, do you think, after having JKS sub in, win the event with with FaZe and look so good in Kato, that maybe that's going to ignite a bit of a fire beneath him to, like, try and show that, no, I am still, like, a very, you know, legit player. We would have won that if I was there kind of vibe, like... I think for him, right, you know, if, if he bothers to read the forums, yeah, maybe. There were a lot of yeah. people being like, that's it, Rain's going to go, JKS in. <laughs> yeah, which is which is insane when you think about the roles, right? And, and I'm obviously one of the biggest JKS fans out there, other than maybe his mum and his girlfriend. But, um, you know, I, I even this makes sense, right? It's better to keep... He's a fantastic player in the roles. And when they get on land, guys, just go back and look at some of his beastly performances. Remember uh, in Copenhagen, just when we had the Blast event, he was in the arena doing what he does best, right? And we just spoke about how arena Counter-Strike's different, mm -hmm. right? So having Rain in this role, being able to make a lot of space, I, I think that he still has a lot to give. It's like Crims. Like, a lot of people wrote Crims off. I'm like, what are, you, what are you guys talking about? Like, Crims are still jacked. Like, I know he had a little bit of an off period, but, like, he's not done. The team just sucked. Like, now that, you know, and now with, like, Mezzi in there and Alex in there, and you can still, you can still see Crims putting up a good amount of uh, fight. So, yeah, I don't think Rain's done by any means. Um, I would have liked if Jcash just stayed on so I could maybe get some free phase merch every now and again. That would have been what I would have been looking for. The 100 Thieves merch is like pulling bloody teeth, so maybe the phase stuff might have been easier. Guns back out. See top hut molly, squeaky smoke landing. And outside yard, they're just going to crawl. Oh, straight in, Deha. Bottom spanked by Twist here. See you later, alligator. Yeah, I assumed if he was going to do that, he would have tried to do, you know, the strafe round to hell where you can only see the shadow. Like, don't get me wrong, they still would have got the info, but it's certainly better than getting shot in the back from main. Bit of a misstep by Deha, giving up this early man, and now Brokey's baited them in as they try to trade him. That's when Rain strikes. That is a lovely little one-two punch setup down lower in secret. I don't know how this T side is going to get going for Ents now. They might just have to go back to the smoke wall, get Deha across, and then just try waiting out the util. Uh, and you don't have to go back to the top, but they can try different places to poke and prob. But this is not looking great. Uh, the first two rounds, there was not a single kill for Ents. And well, if I go over the scores and the doors for everybody at home, four for Sphinx, four for Deha. Sorry, five for Sphinx, as he wants to correct me with that nice little 
peek into Carrigan there. Uh, three for Mad, two for Hades, and two for Snappy. So lack of kills, guys. It's it's Captain Obvious here again, but really that's that's a lot of what this is. I love the idea that, you know, ends coach in there. Guys, have we tried just shooting them and actually winning more? Um, no, it'd be like, that is... Okay. They shot him, see? Okay. They're it goes a long it. way, right? Uh, bullets, everyone's weakness, as it turns out. Oh, my goodness. Spinks and Snappy. This was two on five, and now they're in with a chance. Out into the A site now, Brokey in the vent. They've seen him. They don't want to chase that up. They don't want to give him a chance. The bomb has to get planted now, and FaZe know this. They chase it down. Good reaction for Brokey and Rops, right? They kind of realized that maybe, maybe you know, uh, that was that was building into something unsavory, <laughs> and so they're able to, uh, to get a leash back on it. Yeah. Handled, handled. Do you, look, would you, if you were married, which Rain obviously is, yeah. do you think you would wear your wedding ring while playing? Ooh. Not that, like, because you're not advertising yourself to the ladies. That's not what I'm talking about. But do you want the bit of metal on your finger that's on the mouse? That's, it feels uncomfortable, right? I've tried. to watch. Because Alex normally, like, de jewelries yeah. before he plays, right? I think it is, like, a bit of a nuisance. I mean, mad respect to Rain, right? Yeah, still fragging and wearing a wedding ring. So, yeah, why not? Here we go. How many for Rops? Uh, three. I'm calling it. Oh, he dropped down right away. So maybe not three. It's not building into a three kill round. I can tell you that much. Not yet. They not take an him round. Exciting three kill round. At no, least. <laughs> it's gonna be one of these drawn out ones. But maybe I'm still right. I like that they've taken round. First time we've seen them do it. Right, Rops. Up until that last round was three and one. He'd barely seen anyone in this game so far. So they, you know, they, they try something different here, Duens, by taking away that ramp control early, trying to shuffle some of these rotations around from phase, and it has somewhat worked. There's two down lower on B, right? So this A site, compared to rounds gone by, is a little more under under defended than normal. Well, Carrigan, it's his turn. Let's see how many he can get. Comes into Snappy's crosshair, and Snappy will oblige through the smoke. Twist shots just landing. Madden's down, bomb loose, and, well, top side. At least they've garnered control. Yeah, a little retake smoke throwing in for Brokey. What's he going to try and deliver from heaven? Flashing his way in, taking a peek, and actually tagging Hades on that swing across. Rain waiting in the vents, just going to have to pop up. I'm imagining they're waiting for Rops to get into heaven so they can all go together. You are going to have to trade your way into this one. Ents have had more than enough time to get comfortable in this site. Snappy, they haven't cleared him yet, and he will rain out with the first, but now left alone in this clutch back of the site, and he's run down. Brokey with a very, very late swing from heaven. You do love to see that. You know, it took so long between them seeing him there and him actually playing into the round that they thought he'd, like, dropped off, maybe looked to go somewhere else, snappy, thinking he had a lot more room than he did. I liked how clean this was in terms of the fact that they waited. They knew they had the number advantage, just wanted to get their ducks in the road before going for it because, realistically, there's not a massive bag of cash that's been built for FaZe so far. So if they are to lose consecutive rounds here on the CT side, Snappy's not done just yet. If the guy can get, you know, four or five rounds here on the T side, I think that the individuals of Ents can put up a fight on their map choice. But the second time out called, and this is an opportunity for Saw, the coach. You can see him right there. A little bit of the coach pace. You know, they're back in the fourth. I, that's what I'd be doing. I don't think I could still if I was a coach. I'd be moving oh, all the time. I, I, I pace around constantly. In fact, I've had multiple generations of casters complain to me about my about my pace. Okay, you can pace all you want um, around here. It's okay. You know, Hugo does it all the time. Henry Greer used to, he actually told me once I was making him feel sick because I was just circling him like a shark. Oh, yeah. circling with a mic cable. Well, yeah, yeah. you're probably constricting yeah. the circulation. <laughs> Harry, so that's understandable. But if you want to pace around here, as long as you do it on your side, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that. That's fine. So we have sides. It's like a 50-50 split. Well, Very... I use the table. Okay, I you like know? that. You stay on your side, I'll stay on my side. I like that. That's respectful. Well, here we go. A little bit of a... Oh. Never mind. Never mind. Had to mention it. That was the curse. Ooh, hang on a moment. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> They heard Sphinx get there. Brokey knew about him. And so Twist has spammed him out. That's a bit of an ugly start. I'm really curious about how this Brokey became, right? Because the Brokey that we saw in Katowice and the Brokey that we're seeing that wants to go straight into the vent to stop a vent drop with an AWP in his hands is the one that just doesn't seem like he cares, right? Like, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, he's gone, I'm an AWPer. You know, I've got the biggest gun in the server and everybody knows it, right? It's not a locker room secret. We've all seen it. And uh, he's just laying down the law. Like, the way that he...
played. I got to do that uh, podcast with Rops and Twist, the little duo, which was quite fun to do. And Rops was saying how he was so much more abbed and fired up and vocal and brokey at that event. He was a bit more quiet and reserved, but just focused like a killer, right? And they had that swap of roles. I, I, let's see if Brokey, you know, what we'll see on the cams, is just, just going to be ice cold going forward. We've got both both Latvians in this group. Heku's going to be loving life. Uh, Dihar has taken down Brokey, however. Always the way. Spend all round setting him up, being like, oh, what's he going to do? And then dead right away. Carrigan can't plug that hole either. So they do manage to get down the vents in towards lower. Rops already here, trying to hit this timing, but the window peak is coming whether he okay. likes it or not. And oh. Rain's been tapped out after the first for twists. This is a 1v3 that it might be better off never even attempting. However, Snappy is holding the lobby and won't allow that save to come in. So there we go. Ents are able to find a round. And once again, a lot of it is from Deha crossing these outside smokes and making a play this time down towards lower. Yeah, good stuff here, right? Uh, Snappy's actually leading the way in terms of the kills right now. Eight over there for the T side of Ents. But uh, it's been labored. It's been labored. And, and right now they're in the tipping point as far as the economy goes. So if Ents can convert this one against the two Famuses, one for Rocks, one for Twist, and the upgraded rifles of the rest, they can actually run away with the tail end of this half here and have something semi-respectable. So important round, and Carrigan's pushing Hunt straight on in, and he's found the opening. Madden has just dropped like a fly. Sphinx has made it down the vent. Gonna try and upset the grain down at lower. However, I do like what Rain's doing here. Right, you know that D has been this reoccurring problem outside, and so Rain's like, don't worry, I'll deal with him. I'll put a stop to this outer play. You guys just worry about upper. And right now, that one body down oh, lower, you don't snappy. have to worry about yet. Snappy, that's kind of nice. That's giving you a lot of room. The idea that you could drop vent might be enough to shimmy around some of these rotates for phase. The heavy rain. Are we ever going to get this fight? He's making noise, oh. and he is going to flick back round. Oh, that's pretty lovely. Rain had every little advantage going his way there. The element of surprise, the info, he knew it all. And the bomb will start to make its way down here towards lower, where Rops currently resides alone with this Famous. Smoking to get the plant down. Oh, Rops has got a freebie. Dihar's dead. He's in the window room now. Can apply so much pressure. Oh, man. Hades even going into the vent. Like, maybe. Maybe they're considering a route out of this one, but no, they've got the smoke down. They're going to try and plant with it. Two on three now. Snappy still alive. This guy's been putting up numbers. They're looking to deal with Rops, and Hades nice. will. 2v2. Starting to chip away at phase. They're waiting. It's a long old rotate for Twists, who finally gets in towards ramp. Him and Brokey, they've smoked off control room, but there's a big gap in this that Hades is peeking through and Snappy's taking another out of the round. That's Ents picking it up. Another one of these, you know, man disadvantages this time going their way. They're able to convert it. And it is, you know, Snappy kind of spearheading the whole thing, right? You said how he's the top performer right now for Ents. He's looking to keep himself there. He's been looking good. And it's like headshots. It's just constant headshots here for Snappy. I think he's got a 70% headshot rate right now. He just keeps banging them off. And this is very big because now, sure, the saved AWP for Brokey, but everybody, the cash, it ain't great. It's about two and a half for most, or with the low 2Ks, mind you. And this is where, for the final two rounds of play, do they force on this one behind the AWP, or do they take a save and everybody will be able to buy next round, but it won't be as good as the an AWP, right? They're going to be missing the big green. Likely to be just a partial investment. That is an important kill from Hades there, isn't it? Very important frag to make on Rops, who is trying to be the fly in the ointment. But here we go. P2557, two USPs, and AWP walk into round number 14. And you have to allow Brokey to work here. You need to give him options. Might not get many an option. He's dropped into the A site. He is in the right place at the right time. Brokey's orb trying to deliver, and it's a third. Oh, man, the only thing in this round for FaZe, and it's delivered in spades. Only oh, here, in. but they're not ready for oh. him. Brokey with four, and that's ten on the door for FaZe Clan. That hero AWP making a play, dropping into the A site and scrapping with them. Fighting tooth and nail, broke. He's able to deliver the round. Well, they allowed him to work. Look at the bodies that are falling during all of this. Carrigan and Twist are just in the site as like peons. Yeah, target practice, shoot us. Allow Brokey to pivot in and get those kills. And at this moment, I think it's all going wrong. Rain, he lines up with Brokey, but he still pulls it off and a huge round. Brokey with a bit of a smirk on his face and the coach loves it. Robin is ecstatic about things. And well, this could be 11 now. Faze, they're gonna be fired up after that one. 
Oh, well, Brokey had his moment. Rops his turn. In with a double at ramp. There is the rotation. Oh, guess who's here again? It's Round Ruin and Brokey. Bringing it into a four on two. Looking to solidify this 11-4 half a phase. Another one of these two VXs, friends. This time, Snappy's gone. And he's often been the mastermind behind, you know, winning or making these rounds look doable. Now you're hinging on Sphinx or Diha finding a gap and trying to get around it. Big gap here in this smoke, and it looks like Sphinx is going to wait it out anyway. Diha has decided to pivot to come back up secret. So the two of which are going to need to try and work and pincer a kill towards main, but a, a time has just been bought. So maybe Diha wants to path over towards heaven because, well, Brokey isn't too sure exactly where Diha has gotten to. I don't know, man, but the kind of game he's having, I, I really think Diha could get just BS checked any moment now. Brokey, still not considering it. Oh, dear, running out into the yard and into the crosshair of this late lurk. Diha's coming back in through May. Not another 2VX twist. Could lay it to rest right now. He's wrapping the door player. Has missed the timing somewhat, but it might be golden. It might actually be perfect. They've just come out of door. You are not ready for this re-swing, and that's the bomb plant denied. D has still with time to get it planted. And now in the 1v1 versus Rain, who's wrapped all the way to main, going up hot roof. Diha, is he ready for this? Swinging out, hasn't seen him yet. Starts to consider. Oh no, jump. Mouse Wheel! Oh no! Mouse Wheel jumpers are up in arms. They always say, ah, oh, the space bar's terrible, but it doesn't lead to that happening. Rain puts 11 on the board for FaZe Clan, and this CT side is off to a rip roaring start. Snappy and the boys are going to have their work cut out for them here on their map pick with only four rounds to their name. They're going to need to look stellar in this second half. He's behind the spawn. Both oh, there, no? How secret? Both? Or one? They They're not pushing it. Go, go down, go down. Oh, go in main, go in main. Coming guy. Both. Both, Both main. He flash out seven. Yep. Flash out seven. He saw me, he saw me. We're dead, we're dead. Pushing. Nice. <laughs> Dude, almost. It feels... Out, out, out. The champions of Karavica looking good here to open up their group in the Pro League. 11-4 at the end of that first half. Admittedly now moving on to the T side. Ents kind of hinging on hitting the ground running to open up this second half, right? If a pistol doesn't go their way, we could be staring down the barrel of a pretty quick first map here. So hopefully Ents have got some ideas in those big old brains of theirs. Yeah, a little bit spotty in terms of the rounds they were actually able to convert here, but let's get things underway. Sphinx has been dropped Julius. He has the best spawn, and I'm sure he's going to drop on towards top heart in case of a rush, but we can see that's not the case. Rops in lobby, one X bet onto our favoring the phase clan. Rain on Silo and, well, the other three, Twist, Brokey and Carrigan on the floor of Yarn, going to be making their way, not downtown, but outside. Vanessa Carlton would be proud. Now, that one might be a little bit too old for you. <laughs> you know uh, Vanessa Carlton? Um, dude, I probably, I mean, I'm just bad with, like, uh, actors, artists, and mute bands, you know, like, in general. Okay. Uh, no, so, fair enough. Not, a, not a good trivia guy. Snappy. Down on lower, 
Not trivial for him. He knows this is a B play now, but eh, no one's only half the battle. The other half is the battle itself, and they need to win some of these out, which they are very convincingly all of a sudden. Brokey's throwing into this clutch, and while he's often great in rounds like this, asking for a 1v3 where they know where he is, and he's at 11 points of health, and all he has is a Glock is pretty wishful thinking. They're on the bomb. They're sticking it. They're holding for this double doors swing. That's clean, oh. but not able to get anything else right. They stuck that from the moment he went missing in decon i like that from ents i think there was a lot of room to kind of give maybe too much respect in the one uh, sorry in the 3v1 there so uh, i like that they just get straight on it and take into account you know both contingencies as it were you don't want the, any of the silly business right because we've seen certain clutches one in that area i think we had bemis in, in the in the a group where he just was being cheeky in the door showing a barrel coming back playing with it you don't want to play those games right you don't want to play those games you just want to get stuck in and they have done now a uh org out early here so that's a no just well never mind carrigan we could talk about his scout but what's the point he's dead three of the four have rifles rain not known to be an orper when i did get to play a, a pug with uh with, with justin he brought rain and he brought twist and he brought rops and then rain decided he was going to orp and he was getting some kills i went and had a look at how many right. career orb kills rain had i think it was like only a hundred so um yeah he he doesn't i mean that was even his question in like that truth or lie game that we played yes right? yes i have an orb highlight and obviously he doesn't but maybe he should i feel like we all should it's all about have an time. orb highlight you know everybody should get to use the big green once in a while no guys don't 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 listen to that nonsense keep it stringent keep it strict don't let your riflers think get big heads and think they can use the orb it's not anybody's gun it's your gun Let's see, Brokey and Rops, two AKs. Two v four, the lower bomb site. Sphinx is waiting to swing open that door and say hello. Oh, they are planning safe from double, so might struggle to have the impact he wanted to here. You know, he's a nice, like, forward kind of warning system. You knew it was the B play very, very quickly with, with Sphinx being here. But a kit in play here, Harry. Yeah, this could get weird, especially because Robson Brokey have been given some time to get set up. The double ramp swing is nice. And now Beautiful. there's simply too many angles for Brokey. Okay, no, my worry's got alleviated very, very quickly. Ents actually played that retake to perfect. I was worried. I, I, I was worried for a little moment there. But look at the guns they're going to be able to walk away with, right? Two AKs, the Org and the M4 that they already had. So this is going to be a beautiful looking by in round number three here of the second half. Uh, whereas for FaZe, consecutive bomb plant, sure, but it should only be a partial investment here. And while these are the Hadouken nades that are right in the back pocket of Mr. Carrigan, he was out for a walk this morning. Oh, yeah? I was on my way back from my walk. It's kind of like two old men. Just, he didn't see me. I saw him. That sounds creepy. Oh, and you didn't uh, even like say so you just... He was on the study. lower path and I was on the upper path. Oh. I was looking to the water. And you didn't want to like yell down. Nah. Ben! He had it in ears in as well, so I, oh. I didn't want to upset him. Maybe he was Look the... out. Good. He's wearing airpods. We can't warn him. <laughs> Oh, well, twist dead on the uh, on the hot rush, and it should, yeah, you know, this is fine. This is clean. It's exactly as it should be right now. Snappy should get a couple here. He had a pretty good first half of things. Peppered with the Deeg, but, uh, well, here's Deeha. 17 kills for Deeha. His impact was felt in that first half for sure. Well, I know there was only four rounds, but at least as far as space is concerned. Yeah, you know, like a lot of the rounds they have can be attributed because of the few kills Deha was able to get, right? I think that's fair enough to say. What do you think about his pink mouse? Pink mouse? I like it, dude. I like it. I like, um, because I'm pretty sure, you know, the, the, the blue mouse next to him was also released in like the, the same Divina, set, right? right? Yeah, 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 the Divina. Um, no, I thought they were really cool. I remember when those dropped a few years. I, I tried so hard to get one, but... Couldn't get one? No. <laughs> I did, didn't have to pull, you know, like... Uh, you say, did you know I'm Harry Russell? I, yeah, I did try, you know, do, do you know who I am was actually how I opened the second message. Um, and then, uh, did you get a reply? No, they didn't reply to that one. That's a bit unfortunate. Well, we know some people at Dowie. Maybe we can get you sorted, mate. All right, top pop. They've been denied with a simple molly. This is going to really stall out anything FaZe had in mind. They have a couple of smokes, a couple of flashes, a couple of mollies left over. They could double pump this. Important rounds here. Faze, don't want to be blanked for too long. It's been three consecutive. Ents would love it to be a fourth. Another smoke about to be lobbed towards door from Madden. 
Yeah, you're still in that time period right now where you're telling yourself, like, don't worry, when we have our rifle round, like, that's when we're going to get back on the horse. So maybe you're not, like, shaken yet. But uh, if Ents manage to win this, that's when they're really going to be believing in, like, their ability to long this out. And it's also when FaZe maybe have to start, like, looking in the mirror a little bit, trying to come up with solutions to this. Still, that's kind of hinged on Ents actually winning this one out. Thus far, they're positioned well to deal with an A play. The one concern is Sphinx up on Hot Roof is about to get molotov off the angle, whether he likes it or not. And here's the play in. Diha has no choice but to drop Vent, and Twists and Rain have opened it up with a double opener into this A site. Nice entry is going to get that bomb planted, but right. that spam has suddenly given you a reason to go for the retake. They have some flashes here, right? Hades could go around to heaven and flash in to help Snappy out. He doesn't have to force his way through main, but looks like he's being stubborn. Diha needs to pop up the vent. Here he comes. Twists is able to grab that. This one's starting to heat up. Behind the vent. Twists in with one, and Rops is going to swing on the contact. So, yeah, Snappy, you know, he, he was thinking like they were onto a winner. Maybe there was a way back in. Twists and Rops with that crossfire between CT, Vent, and Squeaky have stolen the round away. And so phase go up to 12. The solution is immediate. There's kind of no better feeling than coming back from losing the pistol and the conversions. And then, you know, winning out your first rifle with something as kind of, I don't want to say as basic as a top hit, but you feel me. Like, of all the, uh, of all the kind of calls you can make, it is one of the more... Uh, one of the more satisfying ones when it pans out. Uh, that was a nice kill from Hades there. I think that's what spurred them forward to go for this. Otherwise, more likely considering a save. So that is uh, unfortunate because they end up losing two more rifles. But there's enough money to get Hades and AWP dropped. Everybody's back with the guns. Kits are looking good too. So this should be fine for Ents to now battle back as we can really start to turn our attention to the, well, business end of this, the rifle rounds. Oof. Yeah. That one hurts. Kind of big worry for me, right, is uh, with the scoreline still being, like, so good from that first half of phase, if they win this round, they are in such a good position to just yeah. run away with this. Could be a GG. That's why we're hoping that, you know, they've still got a bit more resistance in them. Savvy's backing off to a bit more of an off angle uh, ramp here, so he might not want to get caught out. Rain, oh, actually, might be able to slip behind Hades, who's not aware over towards Yard right now. Sappy's taking some control and some contact, and Hades still hits the shot. Oh, yeah, and in a ramp, this double hold is beautiful. Yeah, Sphinx is going to burn in the molly, but it doesn't matter when you get results like that. It's only Carrigan left now, 1v4. Admittedly, I was going to say they don't know about him. He actually did blind rain like, in the kill feed on the outside play. So I think Hades had a little kind of suspicion that maybe he could have been there. Turns back around and deals with it, and Ents will come up with the goods in the return to the rifle round. I was going to say Carrigan's probably due a one-on-four. Can't remember the last Carrigan one-on-four. Ah, uh, it, it, yeah, it's been a while. I mean, dude, yeah, I always think he looks so comfortable in clutches because it's like suddenly, you know, you've lifted that veil of having to manage anyone else off of him. He's just focusing on reading it for himself. And he can get very, very scary once he gets the first, you know, like once he's made that read for the opener. Ooh, it gets exciting. But, you know, just don't let it get that far. Easy. Yeah, well, Hades has been reading that uh, scripture. And, well, here he goes again onto rain. Another man hits the deck, an opening kill for Ents, and that should be a good way to mop up any mess that the Deagles may be causing. He's having to tuck his head down using that crouch key. Now, you're a bit of a headshot specialist, I've seen, Harry. Yeah. When you play, you only go for the headies. So for those people at home who want to get the crisp, clean one-taps, what are you thinking while you're playing? Or are you not thinking? Is that the, are you being in the flow state? Yeah, it's it's all about trying to get into the flow state in my eyes, you know? Right. So it starts with like a nice bit of warm up, right? You can use a few different options there. Um, I actually, and this isn't even to shill, I, I use the CSGO hub a lot. Like right. it's actually got some like nice fire game modes in there. The check is in the mail. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've done well, haven't I? Um, but, you know, uh, and then and then past that, it's all about, you know, using the AK as frequently as you can. And when you can't get an AK, you can get a Deagle. Okay. Well, that's quite simple and much cheaper. Yeah, well, I saw someone say, like, wow, you must be able to, like, you know, double dink with the A1S or A4. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> I just I'm, not, I'm not a wizard. I just don't buy the gun. <laughs> like, they have the AKs, and I can get an AK with, with a Deagle, right? Okay, There's, like, the route to it. It's like a food chain almost. You think that's how Nico thinks about it? I, I like to think it is, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that's how he goes about it. 
No, dude. I don't know, because, I mean, admittedly, kind of like post-nerfed Eagle isn't as good as it used to be, but I used to sometimes think, like, especially when the Deagle was just a two-body shot, like, could you realistically just have a dedicated Deagle player? Because it was so strong. Yeah, they did. It was called Sanji. <laughs> Man, you're really going to do sad you like that. Well, we love him, but no, he we didn't do get to use weapons very often. No. He was a, pish, a pistol specialist, but that's an opener right there. Sphinx has gone uh, aggressive, I think we call that in the business. Very aggressive. <laughs> Trying to go up T-Roof. I do love it. It's a very audacious play. Oh, nice shot. That's, that's clean. Headshot with the orb. Nothing, nothing quite like it. Just, it's a, it's one of those angles as well, right? Of course, you're just looking for the, for that little pick, but Hades to draw on back onto Rain right there. That means a lot. He can tip his way all the way back towards hell or heaven. You know, he can pick. You guys get to decide. Don't be sinful. But uh, it's a four on four at this juncture right now. So what could have been a great round for FaZe to build upon is now very difficult. Carrigan's going to have a hard time calling him out of this one. Hagen could actually slink on through towards main here. There's no eyes on main right now, right? You can see the wall smokes and yard are going to fade any second. If they wanted to top split, they can. Oh, yeah, that looks to be the decision, right? With all these mollies raining over with Carrigan positioning himself over in main and looking to come in on this swing. Out they go in through the door, Carrigan. Makes first contact, and the rest of the team now try to spill into the site. That is a lovely opener for twists, and Hades isn't able to replicate Brokey's, you know, 1v4 or madness from the back of the A site. So Snappy's left down on lower. There was a little detail that I like that when they get into the four on four, that call comes in to throw the outside smokes and just go quiet for a bit, right? I think at that point when you're Carrigan, you know your only way back into a round like that is to try and manipulate some of the rotates. And you know they don't really have the resources to have like a secret player playing the info for the outside smokes in a four on four. And so it was just a nice way to kind of guarantee that that A bomb site isn't going to be stacked to the nines with Ents players. Yeah, that's true. Like I think one of the things is there, like if Ents had even gone for a gamble and you're Carrigan and then you go into a stack and you go back and watch the development, well, okay, well, they stacked us, right? Like, so uh, that's, it's the right play. They're playing the percentages. And I, I like the way that you teed that one up there. So 13 now as uh, another hard-fought gun round for FaZe is notched onto the board here. Still enough money for another buy for Ents, right? They're really just holding on due to this more back and forth nature. Three up the break from the pistol and conversions. One round lost, two back, one round lost. Let's see, can they continue that form with rounds back of their own here? Because they're going to need to. It's, uh, yeah, a little bit of frustration. I, I do love how it was Brokey to chase him down as well. Like, out of anyone who knows how to play backside with the orb, you know, it's Brokey. Brokey knows that what you want is, like, these kind of staggered one, one single peaks at a time. Brokey doesn't give him the room or the respect. And now he's donning an orb himself over here towards outside. Still, not him to open the round. It's actually going to be twists again. d -hurt in garage might go unaccounted for now that you've dealt with that awp so that's a free beat on terrain and madden's going to extend that lead even further I've seen madden on the all plenty of times harry he's great on it as the sarcasm is not strong enough here today i don't know look he's picked it up why not give it a crack it's a big gun it's a good gun but snappy is uh, doing a bit of bopping up and down that is the steam of this round gone i think mm. what are you and uh oh he's lining up a set nade here Give us it. Okay, that's pretty tidy. Safe, jump through. Yeah, right. It's a nice way to get that native without having to do the, like, t even tiny jiggles. Give up that pick to an old man. So this is the thing with how much, well, how much the game is being refined by the top level, right? Like, being able to do that, you need to, first of all, sure, understand that you can do it and know the lineup, but then know the timing of when to do it. Like, Because a lot of players, if you're trying to, in, in your matchmaking or your face at games at home or something like that, you're doing these silly things, you get caught off guard. This is like, this is why team-based Counter-Strike is the best thing, right? Because it allows for so much nuance and detail, and then there's plays and the counter plays, and, the, you know, it, it's a whole different beast, isn't it? Team games of Dude, it's always wild whenever you go back and watch VODs, even from like, even from like something as, as, as kind of not as far away as goes, you know, like four years, like how much the games evolve, yeah. right? Like it is, it, it just looks like a different game in terms of how it plays out. You know, like I, I, I remember I made that video about you in the uh, in the Titan game on Mirage. Uh, um, what a game that and, was. And and yeah, I had to go back and like rewatch the VOD, but it did make me laugh just how often they were trying just the stuff.
standard, like, matchmaking execute that everybody knows where you smoke stairs, you smoke jungle, you smoke CT, and you go for it. But at the time, that was like, oh, nice, man. And now they're flashing each other as well? Damn, these guys have got... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, my T side was at a little bit more depth. Oh, was, yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was jump smokes, mate. We were before our time. Before Head our time the back then. Yeah. yeah. Some people didn't like it. Well, it doesn't really matter now. Here we go, here we go. Saved AWP for Brokey. Now, it's worked one just once before. Do you see it happening again? I don't know. I think T side, it should be a lot harder for him to get anything going, right? He's not going to have that freedom to drop into the A site and have them, you know, feel the need to peek him, as it were. I hope he takes a very proactive stance here with the AWP. Maybe try to, like, throw him into this, you know, like the little boost at ramp to try and get the AWP pick on the off on angle. Instead, he's just peeking it dry. I kind of like the confidence. Like, that screams he's just like, no, I'm winning the fight. I don't need no boost. I don't need no trickery to do it. I'll just win it head to head. Gonna have the pistols to go in first. And this AK on Carrigan, hoping to trade them. Flash, gonna send Snappy down out of ramp. They have overran him, and now they look to set themselves up towards hell. Brokey might be blind, but he still delivers the opener. Okay, well, now they know where Hades AWP is, right? They would have had a good idea it should have been over towards Hell or Heaven or Yard regardless, but now they know for certain. And oh, Rain's gone down here, trying to get some squeaky room, but here's Brokey's AWP again, another kill. Dude, he can't win them another hero off round, surely. Oh, it's Apparently a he can for Brokey. It's not meant to be this easy. Over in main is his next challenger. Hades late to the mark. Moving in, Brokey trying to run the gauntlet, but he's smoke shot by Hades. He did it with the orb last time. The orb's even more impressive. Right as that smoke fades, he gets it. I tell you what, it's a damn good thing he gets that as well, because it was on its way to get planted for heaven, and that would have been essentially like a, a very unwinnable 2v2. You would have been hard-pressed with Rop set up in heaven, but now you forced him to drop, you forced him to play in the site and play around this bomb solo with Hades repositioning over into heaven and Rob's not considering it, although I say that. Enough time's passed that he's like, no, it's got to be heaven. That's the only route back in. It's all become clear oh. to Rob's and he's going to get it over the line. The blessed Brokey AWP is responsible for five kills in that round. Three from Brokey himself and two from Rob's. That's ridiculous, isn't it? That's absolutely ridiculous, right? The fact they're able to brute force their way, they get into ramp, they get this opening kill. Here it is. You can see the flash just there. There as Diha goes down, and then Hades gets one back. Yeah, he's able to draw it back, draw it level, but this is when Brokey really comes to life. A couple of his teammates have gone down. You saw that rain kill to Madden, but just fighting, right? He's not the first man in, but he's the man to get the kills, and then Rop's doing what he does best, closing the rounds for FaZe. 14 now, just two more. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. I do love his, like, immediate reaction as well in the 1v1. Like, you know Snappy is maybe expecting a bit more mind games there, a bit more, like, trickery to go on. In reality, Rops had already ran out of hut before he tapped the bomb, right? Knowing that that tap was coming to try and bait a peek, and there was going to be that, that split second where Snappy is having to look back up and, like, get his bearings after tapping the bomb. That's where Rop strikes, and that's how they find 14 over on the side of phase. This is their best chance right now, right? If FaZe win this one, lost bonus only 1,900 on the other side, they could just get it closed in two, right? Two consecutive rounds is going to be one of its easiest right now, and unfortunately for them, Sphinx is a little bit light on. So they got an MP9. Rain's copped a bit of damage. Hades on the way back with Spam has copped some of his own. But it looks like Carrigan has told the troops, we're not in a rush. There's no dramas. It's all good. We're in the driver's seat right now. They need six to get this done in regulation. We only need two more to close the door and move on forward to Dust2 that's waiting in the wings. It was Dust2, right? It is, yeah. And Overpass there is the third. So it was an end span on Inferno, a phase ban on Vertigo. That was pretty much standard. Uh, it's interesting to see that phase taking this to Dust2. I like some Dust2 in my life. It's also a map that uh, I believe we are yet to see Ents play with this roster. I want to go and double check my little stat of Roonies, but it seems, seems correct. Feels correct. I think it is correct. This way I don't doubt myself often, Harry. I mean, I can't believe you did just then, Chad. It was, yeah, it was but, a counter-strike question. No, because the thing is, like, so many people at home, they're always waiting. They're waiting. So you make that one they, mistake. They're waiting, right? There's a guy who's like, oh, nice from Deha. I missed, like, a sound cue the other day, but the yeah. guy doesn't realize that... How could you do that? About 60% of the time, we have delayed audio. So, <laughs> you know, it, it does tend to happen that I am going to miss things. 
I don't know. Have you ever just thought that maybe it's uh, actually that you're you're underqualified um, and a more experienced player would have noticed that regardless? I, I think a more experienced player would notice <laughs> more things than me, definitely. <laughs> But uh, I'm, I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying my you best. You still kept it so humble, so now I just feel like I'm like bullying. And, and yeah, you know, I mean, look, Chad, you're great. There's no, there's no need to doubt ever. Apart from, uh, apart from, you know, like phase in this round, where they do doubt everything. They lost rain, and they went, all right, boys, save. Do it again. Do it again next. Oh, well, I, look, I, I, I'll justify it. We could. We, they did it, so we don't really need to. But Carrigan has 2.8, so he can drop an AK for rain. It just means he won't have any utility. But they can have full rifles across the board because four of them were able to save. So I don't hate it. I don't love it. Uh, you never like to see a 4v x save situation. Yeah. It's very gambit esque, right? So we know we want to make sure we're uh, keeping things more action packed. That's why I like the arenas. That's why I like you know. We're, we're, no, who's saving in an arena? Yeah, that's true. The crowd no gets one ever bored. says. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The crowd gets bored. It, it's funny that like, because no one really, you know, like openly talks about it. But you definitely feel that pressure of like just wanting to please people. Like you notice it. People attempt like two v fours oh. that they never normally would. He has opened this round much the same as how the last started. Picking rain outside. Only this time there is a response. There is a callback for FaZe. They've even dealt with another man. Oh, Rops playing around in the smoke. Hello. Is he ready for this lobby push? He is going to get bested by the MP9 of Sphinx. That's a free upgrade and a return to the three-on-three. Three. Deha might be in a great position to win the round. And oh, start no, pulling okay. up. Deha manages to get out of there. And Carrigan's now plunged into a 1v3. There's no 1v. Well, I say that. They just dropped Vent. Needs to win this fight. Needs to win it now. Carrigan, plenty of time. But without the fight, he's going to have such a hard time to get this bomb down. Punching in the digits, trying to get the... Bonus on through, but now has to do it all. Oh man, they're decon, they're double, they're going window. They know where Carrigan is, and they just run him down. I do, I do love Ents in in you know three v ones, four v ones, whatever it may be. They don't really give you respect. They don't give you room. They know the the danger of being too conservative in moments like that, and uh, and they just run Carrigan down, knowing he hasn't had any time to really get set up. He's still going to be right where he was when he planted the bomb. I'm trying to be a little bit more interactive with all of our viewers at home. Okay. You know, I, like I feel that. like we, we this no, is what traditional I, television I doesn't have available. I love interaction, yeah. So, look, if the people at home think this is going to overtime, I'd like you to spam one in the chat right now. That's if good. If you think this will finish in regulation for phase, I'd like you to spam two. If you think that Ents will pull this back to a 16-14 victory, I would like you to paste three. Let us know. Have your vote today. It will be counted. Lines are only open for another hour, though, so get your votes in soon, or else they might not count, but you may still be charged. Into the A site, Sphinx. Ooh, run down by the Tech Nines. Hades going to come in swinging, and at least keeps this in the advantage events. Plant is available. Rain's going to plug in those numbers, and now backs up just Eagles here. That's a ballsy reposition for Brokey. But at least they are given the respect and the room to do it. Now they're set up over here in the lobby to try and play around this bomb. Ents do not want to let this one get out of hand. It's only the Deegs, and you've dealt with the first. Are you ready for Brokey? Same position, same weapon, but not the same outcome. They're still on the bomb. They stuck it the whole time, and Brokey was never to know it. So Ents are well and truly back into the swing of things. 13 to 14, one away from tying this game up. Wow, uh, it's happening very quickly here, isn't it? Uh, another plant for phase, so at least that's a positive, right? Consecutive rounds with bomb plants. Uh, it's going to give them a little bit extra moving forward towards the tail end of the game now that their loss bonus is, uh, well, yeah, maxed on out. So th this is it. This is it for phase. You want to get it done before things get a little bit squirrely. Now would be the time. Ray not sustaining any damage early towards Yard, at least this time round finding themselves on the roof, just having a bit of a mother's meeting uh, phase. They don't want to be too quick to the draw. Allow Ents to use their utility. Carrigan. Oh. Oh, okay. He's been practicing that one, has he? We'll set smoke here. One. going to go over to the windows, maybe. So double mollies. Okay. One for top heart and one for back sight, I imagine. It's top heart. Yeah. Back side. Oh, floors on flames. Still the opener for Madden in Maine. And Sphinx hasn't really been forced out by this backside Molly. That kind of betrays Brokey. Gives him a false sense of security in the A push. That's where Twist 
Well, deliver one of these openers that he's been so good at in these A plays. Snappy attempts to rush it down and ends up leaving Diha all alone. There's no putting a stop to twists up on this A site. Man, whenever it has come down to him having to give the openers and like create that space, he's often stood and delivered there. So props to him to find 15 for FaZe. Yeah, it's crazy. When FaZe just want to come late top like that, Twist is doing a great job of, of making it possible, right? He just kind of walks on through. You can see the utility here. It's putting him in, uh, well, more interesting positions. But you start to find the kills if you twist, and he continues to do so. So great stuff for him as they continue this form. 23 kills, tied it with Brokey. The only one really standing with them is Dihar on the other side. But is this the final round? MP9 for Madden, M4s for the rest. Hades in the big green. Dihar's, he's been good in yard. He's going to have to be better here. But at the same time, if you face, do you even have to go outside? Like, do you even care? Just keep going top. Just keep brute forcing your way in here, mid to late round. Yeah, I mean, Rain and Diha have kind of been having their own separate fight outside. Like, it's been <laughs> it's been like in its own kind of little chamber, right? Its own little vacuum that's felt kind of apart from the rest of the game. This time, Rain, though, he's got backup. He's brought all the boys with him, and they're going outside. So Diha will have his work cut out for him. I kind of agree. Now, you didn't need to test the waters here, oh. but you're going to win that opener. And yeah, mate, you mess with the rain you get the horns it's brokey dealing with that peak it didn't really work i was no. trying to build it on the fly look i liked it not all of them land i get where you were going with it all right look down at lower sphinx is already here Rock's lobby lurk is also disgusting waiting for aggro you could probably do something with sphinx and spanks do you know what spanks are uh it's like underwear right yeah yeah, yeah. okay i like that i like do something that. with that the one for Sphinx is like the cutting off his nose to spite his face. We've got the Sphinx in Egypt, obviously mm -hmm. no nose. Mm -hmm. That's a that's low hanging fruit. That one though, isn't it? Oh, oh. What about Madden? What about Madden and Hades? Quite the a-hole. Well, Madden's dead. Just Hades now. They know about him. And dude, if he was able to kill the bomb plant, and maybe, maybe there was something to be found there at a the time. All of a sudden, it's snappy. You had to run the whole way, so they knew he was coming. And it's a team ace to close that out for FaZe Clan. Ence's map pick of Nuke might have gotten a damn sight closer than that 11-4 half would have led you to believe. But in the end, FaZe still walk away with the victory under their belts, their heads held high, and they...